Razi kasi pipi na rin yung mga apple. Well, it's not soccer. It's football. It's football. How can they start to learn English here in Japan now? Konnichiwa. Good afternoon. What's up? It's Rupa Sensei here, and today I'm with a fantastic guest. How you doing, brother? I'm good. Thank you for having me today. Welcome. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. <laughs> we'll train him up. We'll train him up. <laughs> Don't worry. The next interview we do, you'll you'll be you'll be hurting my hand. <laughs> right. Right. So give a self introduction, buddy. Daijiro this. Daijiro. Daijiro. DJR. Yeah, DJR. DJR. And um, I'm a YouTuber. So you know, obviously I post videos about um, English, especially about English pronunciation and dialects, because I have. Um, um, great interest in English accents and dialects, obviously. I, I have a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel regarding, you know, the, the differences between like American English and yeah. British English. And I also do um, English pronunciation coaching online. Yeah. So, yeah, so I think. Full that, teacher. Yeah, full teacher. Yeah. yeah. It's actually an interesting story how I saw you, your videos first, Daijiro, because one day I was getting my drink on, maybe about. 10 or so drinks and I was a little little tipsy let's say uh -huh. tipsy okay. and I was just scrolling through YouTube and then this amazing video popped up and okay. it, it sparked my curiosity so <laughs> okay. I clicked on it you my friends uh -huh. were singing lose yourself or rapping you lose oh, yourself yeah yeah I, which is an American yeah. rap song by Eminem mm -hmm. in a British accent yeah. And I just didn't realize how amazing that is. So we have Daijiro, <laughs> who is pure Japanese, right? Yeah, yeah. You weren't born, born in overseas. Yes. Uh, yeah. English yeah. isn't your native language. Mm -hmm. Rapping an American song in a British <laughs> accent. And I was drunk and I was just like, whoa. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> so I'm like, I gotta message this guy. <laughs> Tell me about those kind of videos. Well, like, you know, so I, I like accents, so I just, sometimes I ex explain about like British accents and American accents, but yeah. uh, the interesting part is like, some like British people yeah. are like, are outraged over the way American call like soccer, right? right. They're, 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 soccer and football. Yeah, I, I think it, I find it very interesting yeah. <laughs> because like in Japan, it's some, it, 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 sometimes it happens, for example, like Kanto people. Yeah. Uh, and Kansai Tokyo, people, right? Uh, Tokyo, Tokyo, Tokyo and Osaka. Osaka. Yeah. Sometimes they have a fight. Um, really? Uh, about how they call like McDonald's. Oh, I know. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, Tokyo people call it Maku. Maku. Uh, Kansas people say uh, Makudo. Makudo. Right? So they, they fight each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's something like it's, it happens only in Japan. Like, yeah. you know, internal, I mean, domestic. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when it comes to English, because English is, is spoken in like many different parts of the world. Mm. Like, wow, this is, so, this is going to be a global scale. Yeah. They're fighting <laughs> each other like, internationally. Yeah. It's, yeah, I'm it's interesting. Very fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not soccer, it's football. <laughs> it's football. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's a Disneyland yeah. of, of pronunciation, <laughs> you know? Theme park, right? <laughs> yeah. There's this word that's different, right? Yeah. And, and some words that we, we say completely different things, like uh, where I come from, Australia, we say thongs as beach sandal. Oh, not the uh, underwear. <laughs> That's right. Uh, okay. It was an interesting story. I had an American friend visit uh, Australia and we we're going to go to the beach. We've got some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. So I was like, okay, uh, we just bring your bathers, bring your thongs. And he's like, <laughs> Rupa Sensei, you know, what, what kind of beach is this? <laughs> I'm like, okay. now bring your thongs, you know? You mm -hmm. don't want to get, you know, sand in your shoes. So bring, mm -hmm. he's like, okay, okay. I think it's a misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, like, people in the US, you know, speaking English, of course, like yeah. British people speak English, like Australian people speak English, and South Africans speak English, and even like Indians and Singaporeans yeah. speak English. So it's, like, even as a first language. Yeah. So the diversity of English is, yeah. is, is as broad as universe. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. And one thing I realized just traveling in, in Thailand, like, if a Thai person meets a Japanese person, they'll mm -hmm. speak in English. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Where, yeah, when yeah, a yeah, Chinese yeah. businessman meets an African businessman, they speak in English. So it's like English is right now the, mm. the universal language. So it's good motivation for you guys to, to study. Yeah. And I, 
I, I'm so jealous of you because you were born yeah. as an <laughs> That's it. <laughs> But now I'm studying Japanese, I'm jealous. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. That's it, that's it. The give and take, give and take. Yeah, give and take. <laughs> Interesting. So that's a bit about you know, what sparked your curiosity. But mm. I'm interested in young Daijiro. So young Daijiro. What were you like in your you know, school years, high school and everything like that? Were um, you were really interested in English and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I, I was... I think English was my uh, favorite subject, of really? course, but I, I also was the kind of student who was like joking around. Right. So like, especially uh, I liked acting. Oh, so fantastic. I was, I was always trying to like imitate my teachers and friends <laughs> to make people laugh. And because I think I, I had been like, like fascinated by how every single person like speaks differently. Every single right. person like, like, you know, walks differently yeah, so yeah, yeah everybody's different so i think that's why i liked acting i think that's why my youtube channel is not only about english pronunciation yeah. but also about like comedy funny stuff comedy stuff culture yeah. yeah and you do a lot of that imitation and <laughs> imitating other accents even in high school and stuff you were interested in english but what sparked that interest mm. oh. probably the starting point is that i was exposed to um variety of Japanese accents and dialect because my father yeah. grew up in Akita. Akita, Akita. Akita. Yeah, Akita. Yeah, yeah. Akita. I heard it's the most beautiful women in Japan. <laughs> oh, yeah. And my mom grew up in Saga. Okay. It's a southern part of Japan. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So they speak different Japanese? Definitely. Right. And I was born and raised in Hokkaido, which is oh my God. northern <laughs> yeah, part yeah. of Japan. So like, ever since I was a kid, ever since I was a child, I, I, I've always wondered, why, why, why yeah. do they speak differently? My mom, my uh, dad, my friends, my teacher, they all speak differently. <laughs> why? <laughs> right? And then I started English, I uh, started to learn English when I was in junior high school, right? Right. And I realized that, wow, the same thing was true with English language. Yeah. I mean, English has many different accents yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and dialects. So, and, you know, as I said, English is not only spoken in one country. So, wow, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So, yeah, that's why I found it, studying English, very interesting. So, since then, yeah, uh, English is, was my favorite subject since that's then. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. a really cool origin story. <laughs> yes, how you got it. Daijo, you, you didn't live in any other countries other than Thailand? Because your English is so amazing. I'm mm. wondering, did you live in like England or America? Actually, I, I've never been to the States, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, wait, what? Yeah. That's so surprising. But, I, but I've been to England as a, on, a, on a school trip when okay. I was in high school. But oh, just, well, like, it was long just time ago. Uh, one week, right. two weeks. And, and I was studying in Hong Kong for a half year as an exchange student. Yeah. And also uh, Finland uh, as an exchange student for a half year. So th that's it. Yeah, well, yeah. so you pretty much learned most of your English here in Japan. Yes, that's wow. the point. Yes, yeah, self-taught. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> I, I thought you lived in England for like a couple of years or America for a couple of years. That's how you learned it. No, no, no. Interesting. If for other people who are in the same situation, they, they're stuck in Japan at a job or something or mm. because they have family here. How can they start to learn English or start their English journey here in Japan now? Okay, so I actually I did a lot of grammar and vocabulary books at school. But yeah. So I think I was really good at uh, uh, reading yeah, and, and yeah, listening. Yeah. Most I, Japanese people are, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. but <laughs> I, I wasn't able to talk in English yeah. at all. And I, I couldn't write also in English. Yeah. Also. But so... I think it, it wasn't until I met international friends okay. that I began to practice speaking skills. Yeah, just like daily conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like, I think English has become more enjoyable since then because I studied English not for like university exams or yeah, yeah. English exams. I just needed English to communicate, communicate. with people, <laughs> to like understand my favorite stand-up comedy shows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or just read English books, right? So I think, um, so looking back, I think it was very important to create an environment where yeah. you have to speak English. Probably you can make like international friends or 
try online a k a i w a Right, right. That's a great starting point. Yeah. Bokumo y a t i m a s Cambry toga, eh? Cambry toga. Okay, Cambry. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I think, again, I think it's very important to, you know, create that uh, environment, environment, like you said. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where English is needed. Exactly.、Uh, And I think a key point from what you just said there is. You had a reason to learn,、mm. okay, which was above just a test score. You had a reason that was above looking good to your teacher, is that you wanted to understand what your new friends were saying. And that's, I, I agree 100% with that because I moved here to Japan. I, I studied a little bit in high school, similar situation to you. I could read like, you know, very simple Japanese and everything like that. And then we'd go to meetings or we'd have like, you know, nomikais and things、sure. where I was with all the other teachers. Or even with strangers, you know, go out to bars and restaurants,、mm-hmm. and people would kind of look at me and then speak Japanese and then kind of laugh. And I didn't know what they were saying because、mm. I didn't understand Japanese at the time. So、I'll, that was like my reason to learn it.、Yeah. I wanted to know what people were saying about me, and I wanted to, you know, speak it with my Japanese friends that I made. I used to ride like BMX bikes and stuff like that. And also, I'm really into fitness, so I made some friends,、mm. and, you know, I could. Get along quite well with them, you know, just through gestures and, and you know, acting things out and speaking, you know, broken Japanese or they would try their、uh, broken English with me. But that's the reason, you know,、mm. the reason is so powerful. Yeah. You know, you need to have a reason why you want to learn the language, not just the method how or what to do, but why is so important. You know, why are you learning that language? So, Everyone watching now, you know, decide that. Take a minute, you know, pause the video, write it down on a pen and paper why you want to learn English. And then everyone's reason is different. There's no wrong reason. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Like for, like, for example, I like playing chess, actually. That's it. And like every like, good chess books are not translated in Japanese.、Yet. Right. So I have to read the books in English. <laughs> so that's my motivation. I want to understand what it says、yeah. to beat, the, beat know, the opponent. People, yeah, both ends, right? <laughs> get stronger. To, to get good at chess. So <laughs> I have to read it, right? So, you know, that's you know, just one example. Yeah, yeah. You know. it's actually so funny. It's actually such a coincidence、mm-hmm. because we've got a very similar story then. I used to play a game called Magic the Gathering. Oh, Do you know? yeah. We'll、I、put up a、fun. little pictures of what the cards are. <laughs> This was like when I was in high school. And at the time, the strongest players were Japanese. There was like, the, the, all the professional players were winning all the tournaments. And they were writing all their articles in Japanese. Wow. And I was playing the tournaments just in Australia. So I was like, okay, if I can understand these guys' articles in Japanese and then use the strategies here in the tournaments in Australia.、Uh, and then I got really strong at the game.、Yeah? And we went to tournaments all around, all, all around the world. You know, and then I was meeting the, the professional players, I was reading their articles, and then I'd try my Japanese and, you know, really good motivation. So, similar. Oh, yeah, it's a really inspiring <laughs> yeah, story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was when I was in high school, so age, ages back. I don't play too much anymore, but I'd love to get back into it. Yeah. yeah. It's a really fun game, I recommend it actually. Do you think it's good for a beginner to learn about accents and stuff from the get go? You really don't try to be flawless about、yeah. accents because it's really. Exactly. Difficult to、exactly. like, yeah. master pronunciation. It takes many years. And so just, you know, just don't care about, I mean, because everybody has their different you know, accents anyway. anyway. So <laughs> there's no like correct accents, Accent. you know,、yeah. just like there's no correct skin color. Oh, your skin color is correct. <laughs> no, there's, <laughs> there's no such, such thing. There's so many accents. So just, you know, stick with your accent first. And if you want to improve, Your accents, just you know, go for it. Go for it, yeah. Exactly. exactly. I really like that analogy. A bit like skin color, you know? Accent. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Everyone's got a different one anyway. Wow! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Your skin color is cool. Yeah. <laughs> These days, you know, sometimes we can get too focused on the details or something. Sometimes we've got to look at the bigger picture, you know? It's like、yeah. English is just the way to make new friends and talk to people,、yeah. do some business sometimes. Yeah. And get your message across.、Yeah. But if you're interested in it, just like Daijiro, you know, definitely go study for it, especially if you're gonna live in like Australia for a while.、Mm. You might wanna learn the Australian accent. If you're gonna live in America for、yeah. a while, get used to, get used to the accent. You、mm. don't have to master it, 
you don't have to speak it yourself yeah. because sometimes what happens is a lot of people they completely study like American English and then they come to Australia and people are like g'day mate how you going <laughs> you ready to go to the barbie on Saturday yeah let's go mate <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly exactly so so it's good to be a, a specialist sometimes but it comes much later in your journey mm. not if you're a beginner from scratch imagine yeah. someone learning Japanese and they've learned hajimimashite, watashi no namae wa rupa desu. And then they all of a sudden want to say it in Kansai Ben. <laughs> you know, it's like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> right? Watashi no suki na tabumono wa sushi desu. And then, okay, Kansai Ben de itara do na ka? Doesn't make sense. Okay, first master the basics, then get a good grasp of, you know, the language. And then if you're interested, do that. Mm. But it should never replace the foundation. Yeah. Imagine it's like building a house, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine you, you've got the best furniture in the world and you've painted the best picture mm -hmm. on the walls and it's, you've got a brand new television. Oh, the yeah, sound yeah. system is amazing. Brand new air conditioner. But it's built on sand. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's built like a chocolate. You know? yeah. And then a hot summer day comes or a rainy day comes and it all gets blown away. So right. that's why foundation, the fundamentals of English is the most important thing. Exactly. So like accents are just like colors. So yeah, a little. Uh, nobody, sometimes nobody cares if your house is blue or yeah. red. Where, where's your foundation? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's your windows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there lights? <laughs> There's no doors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how do I get out? I'm trapped. But you know, the thing is, like, some people like make fun of other people's accents, so mm. I really uh, don't, like, uh, yeah. don't like that because I want to treat all the accents and dialects with Equal. respect. So I want people to know that there's so many accents. Yeah. yeah. So, that's yeah. one thing I like about your channel. You don't just focus on American no. English because no. I feel like that's such a buzzword mm -hmm. American ego, American native ego. But you do like Indian English or like Thai English, you know, which are just as important, you know, yeah. because there's, a, you know, thousands of businessmen in, yeah. in, in Thailand, as you know, yeah. just like you were, you know, doing business in English with the Thais. Yeah. So it's just as important. Um, India's got the second or third most uh, amount of billionaires in the world. So that's their booming economy. Yeah. So in Japanese, people are going to have to speak with Indians in English <laughs> if they, it to improve the economy and everything like that. Yeah. yeah. CEO of Twitter is yeah. Indian. CEO of Microsoft is yeah. Indian. So many Indians. All the tech boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, I'm half Indian. You know, <laughs> so I'm half smart and then half passionate Italian. <laughs> <laughs> that explains. But yeah, anyway, on a tangent there, what challenges did you face learning English and like life overseas? As far as uh, the English pronunciation is concerned, yeah. actually it was really challenging for me to Yeah, I would imagine. Because, <laughs> because there is no one nearby to teach me English pronunciation. Because even English teachers, they don't have to teach English pronunciation at right. school. So they have, you know, they uh, had little knowledge about English pronunciation. Yeah. I went to a bookstore yeah. and to buy as many English pronunciation books as I could afford right right and then it just went home and I read them all anyway because I didn't know which books were good so and then I uh, tr tried to pronounce the words according to the CD that came with the book okay and I recorded it on uh, Radio Cassette radio oh radio cassette radio cassette, <laughs> radio player, cassette. Yeah. at that time <laughs> old you know, school old my school. age my age yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Raj, oh man <laughs> yeah. Raj cassette. Let's Let's go. apple <laughs> and then i listened to my um pronunciation yeah, yeah, yeah. The, so it was like a self-taught okay it was very challenging for me yeah 100 yeah. percent mm. did you end up finding good materials uh, actually i found a good teacher so oh you did <laughs> online yeah fantastic because when you when you want to improve your pronunciation, I think yeah. you need feedback. 100%. That's yeah. such a good point. It's very difficult to, to do it yourself. It because I don't know if it's correct or not. So you need somebody to give you feedback. Right? Yeah. And I found a good teacher and he was, um, he knows a lot about, you know, pronunciation. Because yeah. usually like when, whenever I ask 
a na native speaker to teach me English. They're like, oh, don't worry, man. But just, just be who you are, man. That's your identity, man. Don't have to like change your accents, man. No, that's that, me. That that's not what I want. Okay. I just want to improve my uh, English pronunciation. Yeah. So I found a nice guy. Yeah. Right guy. So it's important to find a good teacher. Hundred so. percent. So that's <laughs> yeah. good. You're lucky. You're lucky. There. But that's yeah. such a good point because you know it's very related to fitness. I do training and everything like that, and a beginner. They might start doing bench press and they might, you know, have their elbows too far out or something like that. Or, mm -hmm. you know, when they're doing, uh, you know, some exercises that might be too dangerous for them. They're doing it in a dangerous technique and that can become a bad habit. Mm -hmm. So just say you learn a word and you learn it wrong or you learn the pronunciation wrong. And then you say that word a thousand times, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, it that's becomes a bad habit. <laughs> yeah, Just the, the same point. as exercise, you know, it can become a bad habit. <laughs> yes. So, And it's much harder to reverse that. <laughs> yes, yes. It's much easier from the start to learn it the proper way and to get that right feedback and go on the right path. Then two years later, <laughs> and you end up with an injury, a bad shoulder, or still mispronouncing the same words. So exactly. that's it. Very good point there about the challenges you faced and, you know, how to, how to solve them, you know, get, get feedback, feedback yeah. straight away. Especially pronunciation, yes, because if, if it's grammar, maybe you will know, yeah, yeah, by reading books or maybe you can check on the internet or something. Yeah, but pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, pronunciation, yes. Yeah. So, right, so last couple of questions there, Daijiro. We've had a really good chat, but since most of my viewers, they're, they're Japanese. What do you think is the reason why Japanese people struggle so much with English? I think there's a lot of reasons, but I think a lot of them are excuses and mm. some of them are valid reasons. What's your opinion on that topic? I have an interesting s story to share, actually. So when I was living in Bangkok, I yeah. had uh, many Japanese friends yeah. and actually they have to speak Thai, right? For, oh, really? I mean, like, for ordering food. At yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Day-to-day -day stuff. Yeah, yeah. For survival, <laughs> yeah. And interesting thing is that they never, like, pay attention to Thai grammar or pronunciation. They okay. just try to speak yeah. uh, for, like, to, to communicate with Thai people. Mm. I think that's a very, like, beautiful attitude when learning foreign language. But when it comes to... English because we had so many like exams at school so right. our image against English is like uh, ah, academics and it's very oh, quiet, no. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> right so just don't try to be flawless I yeah mean, like it, it's okay <laughs> yeah so I think the attitude is very important and actually English is very difficult language because 100% Japanese and English is on the opposite side of the spectrum. Opposite side. Yeah. So if you're friends, probably you can Much learn. easier. Yeah, yeah, much yeah, easier. Yeah. But English, that yeah. is So yeah. it takes time. <laughs> it does. And understand that it's going to take time. Yeah. Like yeah. we were talking about before, a lot of people want to speak fluent tomorrow. Yeah, there's no <laughs> magic. There's no magic. It's not like, you know, you take a medicine, yeah. Harry Potter or something. <laughs> you, S same with the muscles. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It takes yeah. a long time. I've been going to gym 10 years. <laughs> yeah. So it takes time. So those are really good two points there. Mm. Understand that it's okay to not be perfect. I think Japan has a very perfectionist mindset to, to English. And understand that it's going to take time. And just like we said before, enjoy the time. Yeah, yeah. There's no point studying English and trying to get fluent if you have no purpose and it's not fun. You're just going to get bored. You're going to quit. Mm -hmm. Find your purpose and find a method that you actually find fun that you can also improve in. It's just like YouTube. If you're making videos that you really dislike, <laughs> but they get, you know, views and stuff like that, you're eventually going to quit, right? Yeah. You're eventually going to burn out. Fitness is the exact same thing. If you go on a super strict diet, mm -hmm. you get results, yeah. but you're going to quit eventually. And then your progress is going to go backwards. <laughs> Who's the strongest person in any field? Someone who doesn't quit. Someone who never quits is always going to win in the long term. So guys, never quit. Find a way that's fun. Find your purpose to learning the language. And guys, you'll be just as good as Daijiro one day. Maybe even better. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. So guys, keep going. Don't, don't quit. Write down right now in your notebook anything. Your purpose to learn 
what methods you find fun, mm. and just go do them. The other day, I, I was um, thinking to learn uh, programming. Okay. Yeah. Like computer programming. Yeah, computer yeah, programming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said to me, what for? And I, I couldn't answer the question. <laughs> so yeah. I think the purpose is very important. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. exactly. <laughs> well, Danger, I think that's about yeah. all the questions. Is there any last message you wanted to give to everyone? Maybe something about how to improve or maybe something about mindset positively, something to enjoy their, their English journey with. I think at the end of the day, I think you should have fun. It's not fun, you can like keep going. So yeah, just keep going. Keep going. And that's it everybody, do your best. Subscribe to D uh, Daijiro, what's your, what's your handle called? I'm called Daijiro JP. Daijiro JP on YouTube, Instagram, when you do TikTok and everything like that. Yes, TikTok. It's Instagram. all going to be linked down below. And we're going to have a couple links to some of my favorite videos of Daijiro's channel. Some of the uh, Eminem rappers. <laughs> and a couple other funny videos I really like. I'll link them all below. So check those ones out. And guys, give a big thumbs up. Because the more thumbs up, the more people will watch and they'll get this great positive message. Okay. And thanks so much, Daijiro. Thanks. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Thanks for being on the channel. Thank you for having me. Everyone, peace out. Have a good time. Hadouken! Perfect.